has decided to use some of that money that could have been spent on those mainstream subjects to get its youngsters fit. Flag Manager Council has taken on a dozen extra PE staff. It's a policy that's had its critics. However, the big question, of course, is does it work? Our health correspondent, Elna Bradford, went along to find out. The day's only just begun, but already it's time for a game of statues for the nursery class at Abercrombie Primary School. A trained PE specialist carefully plans out classes that improve listening and social skills as well as fitness. Meanwhile, the boys and girls in P7 have rugby. But that's not the only thing that's changed in PE here. It's a lot more fun because last year we got a teacher and she wasn't exactly the most fit person we could ever get. And she couldn't do, like, um, do stuff like rugby or run very well. So we had to just do Teg and she'd just mount, watch us. So Victoria, what do you enjoy most now about their lessons? It's the rugby and looking forward to the rugby festival and a new gym teacher. Um, she's a lot better. Elsewhere in Scotland, the PE lessons that Scott remembers are still commonplace. PE lessons here are a big success and extremely noisy, but the methods Clack Manager Council have used to find the money to fund these lessons are somewhat controversial. This school's head teacher doesn't get her full budget. Part of it is held back by the council to pay for 12 PE specialists, although she doesn't seem to mind. More active children um, are, are better um, at concentrating in class and uh, they, are, they are able to achieve better all round. But there were the sceptics who thought any extra money would be better spent on maths or English teachers rather than physical education. Well, I think what they've got to remember is that um, PE and physical activity promotes all round health and, and well-being. It also adds to um, children's concentration in class. We can use lots of um, PE to enhance subjects like maths. We can teach a bit of maths using a PE lesson, so it can be used cross-curricular. But all this activity has thrown up a new problem. Abercrombie Primary's after-school sports clubs are full to bursting. Eleanor Bradford, reporting Scotland, Tullybody in Clackmanager. And limbering up with the weather forecast, it's Gail. That